Looks familiar. Certainly, it looks exactly like the thousands of online retail stores where you and I shop on a daily basis. But there is a catch, it is not an ordinary e-commerce website, but one that is at the center of the illicit trade of drugs, weapons, and personal credentials worldwide. This is the screenshot of a black market called Alpha Bay, Aka, the Amazon of the dark web. Sounds interesting. Wait till I tell you about the massive joint operation of the world's strongest law enforcement agencies to bust Alpha Bay, only for it to resurface a couple of years afterward. But first, let's talk about how Alpha Bay became the epicenter of illicit trades of drugs, weapons, and banking credentials, which not only took innocent lives but also stole the hard-earned incomes of hundreds, if not thousands, of hardworking professionals in the world. The Rise of Alpha Bay So, the year is 2011. Cryptocurrency has been recently introduced to the world, and not much is known about it to the common public. All we know is that it is a digital currency that is decentralized and not regulated by the authorities of any country. There are no strict laws to regulate or technologies to trace crypto transactions. Even worse, authorities do not seem to understand what it really is and how it operates, so instead of looking into it, most turn a blind eye towards it. However, a 27-years-old boy named Ross William, located in Austin, Texas, is completely aware of the potential of cryptocurrency, and he uses it to his advantage by creating an online store by the name of Silk Road. However, this store is unlike what you and I are used to. It is a platform that cannot be searched on Google, Bing, or any of the other search engines for that matter. Users can only access the store by downloading a specialized browser, which does not collect any data and maintains the anonymity of users. As you access the website via specialized browsers, you come across all sorts of illegal listings, ranging from illegal drugs to hacking malware. You can purchase any of the items, and it will be delivered to your doorsteps in an envelope that cannot be distinguished from the mail you receive on a daily basis. Once you receive the package, the money can be transferred to the seller's account, and that money is not dollar bills but cryptocurrency coins such as bitcoins and ethereum which can neither be traced nor involve any intermediary that can detect the transaction. You see, it is a perfect crime, which may be shocking to you and me, but this is a paradise for criminals, which opens up tons of opportunities. The Silk Road remains operational between 2011 and 2013 and gets involved in all sorts of criminal activities, including distribution of narcotics, false identity documents, and execution of hacking. Silk Road was finally shut down on October 1, 2013, when authorities apprehended William by infiltrating the website via a sting operation. But, it was perhaps a little too late because the criminal world was now familiar with this new and more sophisticated method to execute their illicit trades. It was only a matter of time before the new stores popped up and started where Silk Road had left. And that is exactly what happened. While several operators tried to fill the void left by Silk Road, one was pretty prominent because of its customizable digital contracts and integrated escrow system, which added another layer of security and convenience to execute illegal trades. No points for guessing. The store was called Alpha Bay. Alpha Bay went live in December 2014 and experienced steady growth, with 14,000 users added in the first 90 days. As it gained the user's trust, the number began to rise exponentially. By October 2015, it had become the largest online darknet market, with more than 200,000 users and 40,000 sellers. Like its predecessor, Alpha Bay facilitated the trade of illegal goods, including drugs, weapons, and hacking tools. The only difference was that Alpha Bay was more than four times the size of Silk Road in terms of users and sellers. Alpha Bay was allegedly involved in cyber attacks on multiple corporations, which involved theft of data. Most notably, Uger was attacked and the data of its users was found selling on Alphabay. A London-based company, TalkTalk, Talk, was also at the receiving end of such an attack, which led to the arrest of a 15-year-old boy. The Takedown Authorities in Canada, the US, and Europe made several efforts to apprehend the operator of Alphabay, but it was not as easy because the operator seemed to have learned from the mistakes of his predecessor. Several attacks were made on Alphabay servers, most notably in 2016 and 2017, leading to the stealing of thousands of messages. Whether these attacks were made by the competitors or the law enforcement agencies is not known. Law enforcement agencies tried every trick in their sleeves, but the security and the anonymity of the website were simply too good to be breached. 
Amidst all the hopelessness, a breakthrough was made when the investigating officer received an email from an anonymous account revealing the email address of the AlphaBay founder. While Alpha02, the founder of AlphaBay, had created a layer of very sophisticated security around him as the website gained reputation, a small operational security error that he made during the launch of AlphaBay was about to cost him his fortune. Alpha02 used a Hotmail address, pimp underscore alex underscore 91 at hotmail.com, to welcome users to his website during the first few days of its launch. Although he stopped welcoming the users soon after, some of the early users kept the screenshot, and it was forwarded to the investigating agencies. The email address proved to be a crucial breakthrough as authorities were able to reveal his true identity, date of birth, and even a photo. A rookie mistake of creating a profile on a dating website with the same email ID was about to cost Alexander Cases his entire empire. Operation Bayonet Once the authorities unveiled the true identity of Alpha02, they started to trace his every move. He was found to be living a luxury lifestyle with his thigh wife in Thailand. Cases had become multimillionaire by that time and used to roam around in luxury vehicles, including Lamborghini, Mini Cooper, and Porsche Panamera, among others. According to U.S. authorities, Cases accumulated a net worth of about USD $23 million, 12.5 million of which were invested in assets such as properties and vehicles. As the authorities narrowed in on Cases, another store popped up on the darknet with the name of Hansa. It was being operated from the Netherlands and Dutch authorities were able to quickly infiltrate it. A brilliant plan was devised by the Dutch authorities and those working to apprehend Cases from Thailand. It was decided that Dutch authorities would not disclose that they had taken control of the Hansa, which would compel sellers on the Alphabay to move to Hansa. And since Hansa would be controlled by the Dutch authorities, they will be able to identify and track the sellers, consequently leading to their arrests. This joint effort involved about half a dozen law enforcement agencies from different countries and was named Operation Bayonet. On June 1, 2017, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of California issued a warrant against cases for racketeering, narcotics trafficking, identity theft, and other charges. Thailand's government complied with the U.S. authorities and issued a local warrant on June 30, 2017. July 5, 2017, a car entered the street that housed Cases' home. The driver was informed by the Cases guards that the road leads to a dead end, and as the driver took the turn backward, the car collided with the walls of Cases' home, creating a loud noise. It compelled Cases to spontaneously come out from his room to check out what created the noise, and it is exactly what happened. Little did he know that the car driver belonged to the Royal Thai Police. The law enforcement stormed the residence and quickly overpowered Cases as he tried to run. Upon searching the residence, law enforcement agencies found the laptop, which was logged into the servers of Alphabay. The laptop also contained files storing usernames and passwords of different servers. Soon after, Alphabay was shut down, but the reason was not provided to its users. Many assumed it was a technical failure or an exit scam, compelling them to use the alternative Hansa. Little did they know that Hansa was already in control of Dutch authorities. As Hansa gained listings, authorities began to conduct raids and arrest the suppliers of drugs and banned weapons. On July 20, 2017, the FBI, DEA, and Dutch National Police announced the success of Operation Bayonet. Cases was arrested for his crimes, but soon after, news broke that he committed suicide while in the custody of law enforcement agencies. While the operation was a success, it could not curtail the illicit trade on the darknet. The successors of Alpha Bay were launched soon after. Alpha Bay was also relaunched on August 8, 2021, by the operator who identified as Day Snake. While the store is currently offline, it had 400,000 plus active users the last time it was active. Day Snake describes himself to be the co-founder and close ally of Cases, and authorities are yet to make any breakthrough in arresting Day Snake. This was all for this video. We hope it has been an informative video. Stay connected with us to get updates on interesting topics. As always, we will see you at the next one.